Then one fateful morning, the police come knocking at my door. And when I opened, the events that followed changed my life. How do you cope when you feel like you're putting in a lot of effort in everything you do, but nothing seems to go your way? This is something that I imagine most of us struggle with as adults. I remember when I first graduated from school many years back, I, like many other young people that time, had these high hopes of securing a high-paying job in one of the prestigious companies and quickly climbing the corporate ladder. So I got online very excited and started searching for and applying for these high-paying jobs that I felt like complemented my decorated university degree. But then a couple of months later, a couple of applications later, no responses, no jobs, not even a regret letter from any of these companies. Everything was just silent. So at first I felt like a victim of circumstances and I felt like the world was against me. I started identifying slowly with the narrative that if you don't have connections to influential people, then it will be very difficult for you to get out of the block. So instead of doing something productive, constructive with my life, I retreated into self-pity and talked in about those people who are succeeding in life. And I was stuck in this loop for quite a long time. The years that followed were years full of misery, self-pity, and at some point depression. You know, I almost got into drugs and alcohol. Then one fateful morning, the police come knocking at my door. And when I opened, the events that followed changed my life. This is a story I'm willing to tell you in detail someday. But for now, for today, I'm going to try to walk you through how to navigate this very difficult season of life. And before we get into the details, let's just take a moment and think about the nature of life. Life in itself can be a little bit unfair and that's just the real nature of it. And there's nothing much you can do to change that. The problem comes in when we expect that everything in our life should be perfect and flawless. When we start to build these unrealistic expectations on everything and everyone around us, when we start to have more and more expectations of ourselves, chances are that we start to feel so stressed and at some point, we start feeling like we are left behind in life while others are moving. So keep it in mind that unrealistic expectations are usually the genesis of uncontrolled suffering. If you expect life to be fair, and then it goes the opposite direction, you start to suffer. You start to suffer mentally, and then slowly it begins to manifest physically. You start feeling sick, tired, and productive. And the question is, how do we cope in such difficult times? Well, when I was going through a season of uncertainty in my life, I did three things to cope. And I hope these strategies will help you navigate these murky waters to the other side. And of course, if you take action and follow them correctly. So number one, take a moment and try to figure out what exactly you're going through. Because I mean, you cannot solve what you don't know, right? In my situation, the story I've just told you, in my situation, I was trying to find meaningful employment and improve my life in the process, but I could not secure a job. So the first step was to ask myself, why can't I secure a job? What is wrong? What are my qualifications? What are my strengths, my skills, and how can I put these things into use? I then divided them into the things I can control and those that I cannot control. And why did I do this? Because in life, we are often faced by two distinct situations. One are these situations that are, are under our control. And these are experiences and situations that we can control and change by ourselves at will if we put in some work. And two, 
these are situations that we cannot control. No matter how much effort, resources, time we put in, we cannot control them. We cannot change them. Secondly, if a situation is that which you can control, then start by taking simple action towards changing it. And what are some of these things that we can do or that we can control? For instance, if you're feeling sad, stressed out, and unproductive because, you know, of your own thoughts, you can simply snap out of it by changing your thoughts and finding something to do. You can start cleaning your house, call a loved one, write a poem, or even script your next video if you're a creator like me. So in my situation of joblessness, I took stock of my skills and I started doing things that I had knowledge of. And I was good at photography. So I approached um, a photographer, an accomplished photographer around my area, and I asked if I could help him, you know, handle the not so technical issues in his studio, which he agreed to. And this gave me an opportunity to then start putting my skills into use and also learning how to run a business and handle, you know, customer queries, how do you talk to clients. And this would later form a part of my journey into becoming, well, a highly paid documentary filmmaker. So when we face situations that are out of our control, then what do we do? In contrast, these are those situations that we find ourselves spending time and resources trying to control and solve, yet we can't. For example, when your partner stops loving you, your employer fires you, you apply for a job, but they don't pick you, your colleagues at work are repeatedly criticizing you. These are things that are totally out of your control. And no matter how much effort you might put in, the results might not be what you hope for. These are things that other people choose to do to us. And no matter how upset, sad, or depressed we get because of them, we simply cannot change them. I was trying to get a paying job, but I could not secure one. I was qualified for at least an entry-level job, but I could not secure none. It took me a while to realize that the factors surrounding this, the fact that I could not get a job, were things out of my control. I had done my part. I had a degree. But then I could not influence the hiring manager's decision to give me a job. So if you find yourself in such a situation, the best you can do is to change your perspective about the whole thing. Change the way you look at the situation because these are the only things that you can control. Number three, lower your expectation because nobody owes you nothing. If you do something good to someone and you expect them to reciprocate in a similar manner, you'll be disappointed. When people act weird towards you, when people try to make you angry, when people criticize you, when people give you know, unwarranted opinions repeatedly about you, just remember one thing. It has more to do with them and the kind of people they are than it is to do with you. You should then not waste your time trying to change these situations or the people in it. It is much better and easier to change your perspective about the situation. Be kind to them. Maintain a positive mindset and just go about your business as usual. If you expect life to be fair because you are a good person, chances are that you will suffer immensely. But when you learn to lower your expectation, then all of a sudden you start to receive more. So the bottom line is, let's live life with fewer expectations. There is this prayer that goes, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'll let you ponder on this for now.